Hey guys, Captain C.A. Richardson here from the Cajun Fishing Adventures Lodge with another Flax Class YouTube tip. That's right, we're out here fishing with clients and shooting television out here in the marshes of the Lower Boot or the Lower Delta of Louisiana. And I felt as if a couple of tips that would be relevant to this area might be appropriate for this time of year. So let's talk about, in the coming videos, two of my favorite baits. One out here would have to be the grass kickers. This is a staple in my bag out here. The other one is an old bass bait, which is the turbo cross. And the turbo cross, well, it excels out here. And I'm getting ready to tell you why. Stay tuned. All right, first, let's talk a little bit about the grass kickers. What I like about the grass kickers is it's a big bait. It's five inches long, and this will cast a mile. It's a heavy Elastec bait from Z-Man with a very large tail that swings very hard. The nice thing about this bait is it's super buoyant, so it stays on top of the surface even with a weighted keel hook. So I can make really long casts with this bait, and I like to use a medium heavy to a heavy action rod, whether I'm using spinning gear or casting gear. That's important. What's nice is I can reel this right over the top of the emergent grass. What do I mean by emergent grass? Not a bass guy. That's grass that's topped off on the surface. We have a lot of hydrilla out here, a lot of milfoil and things like that that are out here. So you want to be able to run this through that grass without getting hung up. These chin locks hooks that you can get on Shop Z-Man site are excellent for this. I mean, they do the job. This thing looks like a little motorboat with its tail swinging going across the grass. And if you, if you don't catch a channel bass, otherwise known as a redfish here, you'll catch a largemouth bass. It's one of the side benefits to this bait. Now, this is great for those darker days where I'm blind casting a ton of water and trying to cover big zones quickly. Now, in the next video, we're going to talk about the Turbo Cross, which is a little bit more of a sight fishing bait, but it still accomplishes some of the same things in just a little smaller profile. Stay tuned. All right, the Turbo Cross. So what does it imitate? A crawfish? Maybe. It's not like there's not a lot of crawfish holes out here in Louisiana. What I think it really does a better job is behaving like a crab or maybe even a frog, because Lord only knows we have plenty of those around here. You can't walk through a door without carrying one in on your leg, believe it or not. But all that being said, I like to put it either on an unweighted bass hook like I have right here, or I'll put it on the keel weighted, a very lightweight, like the 1 12th of an ounce chin locks hook, where I've got a little bit more casting distance. What's nice about this bait especially when it's unweighted, is it rolls across the top of the surface and these legs go like crazy. They're just going like crazy over the top of the water, just like a frog swimming or a crab paddling on top of the surface. Drives these redfish nuts. I can throw it on hydrilla, I can throw it on lily pads, and this blue-black color in particular does a good job because it silhouettes as it comes across the top of the grass. And the bass that are sitting in the holes will just blast it out of the water. Once it hits the edge and drops off, if it sinks just a little bit and I roll it a little bit slower, well, the redfish get it. But they're all tuned in to that type of action. So the Turbo Cross is another fantastic profile to target reds and largemouths out here in Louisiana. I'm gonna wrap it all up for you in one more quick video. So, whether you're fishing for blind casting trying to cover tons of water and are using the grass kickers or if you're doing a little bit more target fishing in some of the smaller ponds or some of the more narrow uh, bayous and little zones where the craws would be a better choice both of these baits have one thing in common they really negotiate emergent grass very well where you're not fouled up. That's the number one problem out here with using jig heads or using anything with a lot of weight. You are almost forced to use some type of bass style hook to get around that problem. So picking profiles that are effective do a great job. Lots of times I find when I'm using smaller paddle tails out here, unless they're attached to a chatter bait or a spinner bait, they just don't get noticed. But the action of the Turbo Cross 
and the big tail that makes that commotion almost noise on the surface with the grass kickers, these two profiles, well, they actually do the best for me out here, especially fishing those zones where I have a lot of emergent grass. I hope this little tip puts a lot more fish in your boat while you're out here in Louisiana. And if you like what you're seeing, please give us a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. We want you to share this type of info with all your fellow anglers, your fishing buddies. It's our job to make you guys better anglers. Until next time, Captain C.A. Richardson signing off. Leave some comments below and let me know what you think about this video. Take care, everybody. Till next week.